Today we're going to talk a little bit about genetics uh, because something that comes up very, very commonly in children with autism, it said 98% of children with autism have what's called a, a genetic SNP or a mutation in the MTHFR gene. Now this is a gene that has to do with methylation. Now, methylation has to do with detoxification. A lot of the things that our kids uh, are having as far as health symptoms and behavioral symptoms may be because of this MTHFR uh, mutation. And you need to know how to feed them the right foods. That's very important with MTHFR genetic SNPs. Uh, very important to know uh, to what foods to stay away from that can trigger more of those symptoms and how you can help them support them on their road to recovery with uh, the right the right foods and the right supplements in the right order as well because that can be very confusing so I've written a, a, a post for you and I've interviewed an expert that I think will be really helpful for you uh, to learn more about this in detail from from that interview and from those pieces so please click on the link below this video and you'll get more information, more specifics on this very important gene that is very common in the symptoms of autism and in causing autism and something that you can do to help you on your road to recovery. Make sure you're here every month with us for these the 30-day marathon that we're doing right now. I'm excited about it. I'm giving you a, a free read resource each day, whether it's a PDF, a a PDF download, a video tutorial, a checklist, something to help you uh, to have some practical information to uh, to get your child the optimum results. Uh, that's, that's one of the things that I really, really needed was support along my way when I was helping to my son to recover from his symptoms of autism, and I didn't have a lot of support. There really wasn't a lot out there, especially back in the early 2000s, and I was on the internet every single day. I was researching every book. I was interviewing experts. I would call people and, and it took a long time to figure it out. I know that you're doing that too. And to alleviate this confusion, make life easier, I'm taking what I've learned and I'm giving you pieces of that so that you know what things that you need to be aware of to help your child on the road to recovery. Make sure that you have clicked on the link below. You're following and subscri or have subscribed to my page so that you are getting the resources I share, uh, especially every day for this 30-day marathon. And please, please share it with anybody you know who you feel could benefit from this information also, because with one in 39 kids being diagnosed with autism today, there are a lot of parents out there seeking this information, and it's here for those who need it, and we wanna help as many people as we can just like I'm helping you. If you can help them, just we want to be able to share the resources so that all of these kids can get better. And I'm so happy that you're here and I appreciate you being a proactive parent and being here, not giving up on your child, not giving up on the possibility of, of the best optimum recovery from the symptoms of autism that you can get for your child. Because like you, I was going through the same thing. It took me a long time and I want to help to smooth that path out, support you on this journey, give you that support that you need. So I hope these things are very, very helpful, these resources, they're very valuable. And uh, again, subscribe and please share, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.